Very, it's a very <laughs> <you're> like fucking <laughs> king. Like, chill out, bro. Fuck. It's funny. It's always funny when she pulls his ear. He... Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't. It's. <laughs> it's always shaky too. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you, buddy? So wait, what does that mean when he does that? Just being. Whiny. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah, that but I mean, even even be- but when before the infection, that. he would do that over there uh, when we were in Houston. He'd be laying on the bed. Just- <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what, man? <laughs> What's wrong? With What's you? wrong with you, dude? Jesus, just tell me. I wish you could speak English, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> speak American boy. Speak American boy. <laughs> I didn't raise you like this. You lost, boy. <laughs> Goddamn. Oh, shit. I mean, races with your fucking dog. You lost, boy. You lost, boy. <laughs> Goddamn. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but like all night. Now, hell no, I don't wake up to it. <laughs> yeah, he started his shit. He comes on my side. <laughs> yep. He'll do that bullshit. Because you know you'll listen. Like, when, when I'm in the room and uh, I'm doing something, he's in there. Yeah, he's always like right by me doing it. But when we're asleep, I'm asleep. Oh, you, you, nah. I'm dead. I'm dead to the world, bro. You're not waking my bitch ass up. <laughs> Sorry. She. You want. I. What did I do? Uh, set an alarm today, and I tried that. Live with you, which you said, like, get up, turn it off, start moving around. It didn't work. Nah, hell no. <laughs> My bitch ass was tired. I was like, dude, I didn't wake up until like eight. I was surprised. I was like, what the fuck? Time usually, do you usually wake up six thirty. Oh no, that's you're crazy for that shit. On your days off? <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. I just I'm so used to our time that we wake no. up. My bitch has to wake up one, two. God <laughs> damn. Because I'll go to sleep at like six, seven in the morning. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll always mess my schedule up whenever I'm off. I don't. I, I just have to. I can't be awake. I can't sleep at night. It's just some. Yeah, you're night. Yeah, owl. I'm a night owl. So the moment I get the opportunity to fuck it up, I'm like, yes. Hell yeah. Let's do night. it. Yeah. All night, it's baby. It's still productive that way. Just, you know, it is what it is. Fuck it. But nah, I, yeah, I wake up at 6.30. Just, right, that's that's right. crazy. That's craziness to me. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why anyone would, would want to do that. Well, I guess whenever we were working at 7, I would do that, but... <sighs> too fucking... Fuck too lazy for that shit, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need my sleep. I need my sleep. I need my beauty rest. That's why you get late to work. Hell yeah. <laughs> you wake up at like at seven, like I'm already gonna be late to yeah. work. It's like, what the Pre- fuck? Premeditating <laughs> la- lateness. You just wake up for a second just to tell me, like, hey, dude, I'm be late to work. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you for that one day, I woke up at six forty. You know, I was like, man, something there on TikTok, uh, Instagram, just looking at bullshit. It was like 7.40. like, oh, shit. Yo, I'm going to be late, son. <laughs> and then I didn't even get I didn't even start getting ready right then. I was like. Still back to <laughs> still it. Still back to it. I was like, I'll be all right. He's probably already clocked in anyway. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, at least you're getting those hours. Yeah. What's the. Uh, oh, this is the question I was, I was thinking about. I was going to ask you last night, but yeah. This is take two. Take two. Yeah. Last night was bad. Yeah, we were tired. It was really bad. Yeah. Uh, 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 your first gin, right? Yes. Okay. What about it? What were the differences that you noticed growing up or being raised by immigrant parents as, a, as opposed to your friends who were like, their parents were, they're like always, always been in America? Hmm. Translating. 
Well, yeah, that. But obviously, I like probably outrageous. Uh, uh, what's it called? Like you, you had to get in like hard topics because of translations. Mm, you know, like yeah. just because there's certain things going on, and you gotta like speak to people about some shit, and boom. You got to translate what's going on and, and everything about that. And it's like, damn, like, I don't know. I, you know. Well, as a kid, you're just like, oh, okay, you know, I have to do this because they don't understand. But as you grow older, you're like, fuck, I was in these situations? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. Uh, did, did, it have, did they have, like, unrealistic expectations? Oh, hell yeah. Well, my dad did. My mom, she was kind of just like, eh, you know. But, yeah. Yeah, my dad was very controlling mm. if you know what i'm saying like it's his way or the highway i like her dad yeah yeah i wonder what it is with that. i wonder what that thought process i wonder what, like i think it's is it because you're like i sacrifice everything to come here so you gotta do something i guess i think it's because it's just it's a new place and they don't know how to really work with it compared to it was in Mexico because in Mexico you can be bum and no one gave a fuck yeah well because you know? maybe it's because of the economical status yeah like maybe it's here they're like hey you gotta represent the family mm-hmm. to the fullest I guess I don't know that's always been always been weird to me like, I feel like they took it too seriously in some ways because I mean here in America they're, everyone's like it is what it is if you do what, what you want that's cool if you want to do that that's cool but you know, I think it's because here in America we have that luxury of being able to like have decisions. There, there's always like a fallback plan, yeah. you know, and like as we're in other countries, that may not be the case. It's like, hey, you're they gonna only know of one yeah, way. you're gonna be breaking rocks for the rest of your life, or you're gonna go to America or some or whatever it is they do in Africa or other countries and shit. Like, right. So I guess whenever they get here, they're like, I gotta be successful. And everything I breed has to be successful too, right? Which is a, I guess, kind of understandable, but it's it's mainly just it felt for me. It feels like a very like, um, like I did this. Mm-hmm. You got to do this, but you got to do it better. But yeah. not only that, I get to claim what you did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, yeah. you know, this was me too. Yeah. And it was kind of like, Wait a minute, what? You know, like yeah, I get, I, I get that. Like, I know yeah. there's a, a lot of a lot of African cultures. They're like, if their daughter or son becomes a doctor, like, no, we, yeah, we became did a this. doctor. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you know, you have us to thank for that shit. You're like, like huh? wait, what? Like, you know, you just forced me to, to do, do this. this. I don't want to do it at all. Like, I hate this shit. <laughs> They're like, yeah, but who cares? <laughs> because you're a doctor. We this. Yeah, we're a doctor. <laughs> we're doctors, bitch. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, you didn't even have the doctors. It's like, no, we have the doctorates. All right, whatever. Yeah, but then when you're like, I'm tired of studying, they're like, I'm not. You go ahead and get back to it. <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on, bitch. <laughs> when gotta, I get tired, you get tired. Yeah, we, yeah, we got to have. We gotta get this doctorate home. <laughs> yeah, for real. You're like, are you going to like help me? Nah, I got you money-wise, but other than that, nah. Financially, yes. Yeah. Without a doubt. But studying, mm, no. that looks hard. Because <laughs> I know a lot of, a lot of uh, immigrant parents and shit. They'll have, like, really good jobs, but it'll be the ones that don't require, like, degrees or certificates or anything like that. Yeah. So, they're like, you're going to do the same thing I do because there's good money in this. So, you're going to get your degree or certificate or whatever it may be in this. That way, you can make more. Right. And That way, you can take care of us business. when we <laughs> while we're dying. Elon. I mean, because mm. I know a lot of them, they would, like, obviously, they do blue-collar jobs. And then yeah. eventually they go into like business or something like that to learn more about like taxes and shit. So that way they can, you know, be own better. a business yeah. and not go to jail for owning that business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's it? How long? What's the longest you've been in Mexico? Just one summer. One summer. What was the difference like? How old were you? Were I was you like, young? yeah, I was, just, I think, seven or eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was going to say, what's like, the difference between there and here? It's uh over there you could do whatever the hell you want. It's kind of like how it was in the nineties, mm-hmm. except for over there it's like, you know, there is no lights. You got to bring a candle everywhere. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> so Damn. you know, yeah, there's no. I mean, there are street lights, but they're like way the fuck like on the like the end of the block. 
You know how like streetlights yeah. are like like every really? other yeah. No, it's like way the hell at the very end. If you want to like do something, you gotta like have a candle with you or some type of light with you. <laughs> fucking lantern. <laughs> yeah, fucking lantern. You know and shit. And obviously, there's some parts of the house that don't have electricity. So again, you just gotta have a fucking lantern with you and shit. And you say it was like hot too. Yeah, it was hot as shit. Damn. Mm-hmm. See that that's what would, that's what would kill me. Be the fucking heat. And the humidity, y'all, it's right there by the ocean. Yeah. And some, like, where my dad lived, they don't have AC. So yeah. So it's, like, literally, like, how it is. Like, you stay outside. It's not outside, but it is outside. It's a clay house. Yeah. But still. So where your mom and dad are from, is it, like, night and day? Yes. My mom lives in the city. My dad lives in my uh, the country. Oh, yeah. I remember you telling me that. So my mom's place, I think, did have AC. So we were just like, oh, thank God. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. <laughs> yeah, we're going over here. <laughs> we stayed over there for a while, and then we went back to my dad's ranch because at the time, that's when my grandma died. Oh, uh, so obviously we were yeah. more over there. I still want to do the twenty-one or what is twenty-three <laughs> eel? <laughs> I want to do twenty-three <laughs> eel. Yeah, shit. I still want to do that because I want to know which part of Mexico my shit at, my shit comes from. You know, cause, well. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. yeah. You have an idea. Yeah. I, I don't have any like, idea. Right, my family should be around this area, but it could be, I could be like from other places too. Because you like, never know when people cross the border and then like, hey, I like Mexican, you like Mexican. <laughs> Let's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if like there's any part of at least, at least my family that's like from like South America, not Central America. Like, Ooh. you know, Brazil. Or something like or that. Mm-hmm. Portugal or something like that. Just somewhere in... Well, Portugal is near Spain, right? Oh, that is that is in Europe. Not, not Portugal. Uh, Argentina. Yeah. Sorry. Argentina, Colombia. Yeah, I get I get the, the white the white speaks mixed up. Well, there are some areas in Mexico where they're like pale white. Mm-hmm. I just can't remember what they're called. The name of the cities are called. But like they're like white, white, like white, blue eyes, blonde hair and shit. You're like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn Nasty hell Whites Speaking Spanish It would still be Espanol I still want to go to Spain But I heard that they're doing this thing with the uh, What's it called? What do you need? The fucking Passport? Passport What are they doing? Something about you need to pay Something to go to Europe Like all the big touristy spots it's not a big fee, but it's instead of just being able to get it for free or however much it costs, you got to pay like a, a fee just to like go to another country now, as opposed to just the flight. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't, it's like eight bucks. I mean, it's not it's not anything okay. crazy, but Still. but they're expected to raise that up to like a Twelve. couple hundred. No, a couple hundred. Like it's going to jump from like eight to a couple hundred. Why? Because I don't know. They just had to get it established as a law or something like that for you in, in order for you to go over there but like dirt cheap now and then it's gonna like shoot up that's stupid then they're participating in fucking capitalism too what the fuck that's stupid i mean it is what it is it's uh i guess i think their thinking is if someone can afford a trip to europe they can afford this as well hell no because i mean like we Obviously, the rich white people go over there, or rich people go over there. But when we get a chance, it's like, oh man, this is so great. And then they get mad at us for not being cultured because we never go out. The fuck? Yeah, because that's the thing. We can't travel to different countries like that. Oh hell no! It's we have a to fucking save journey. Up. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know what a trip to Europe costs, but I know it's not cheap. Mm. Depending, it doesn't matter which part you're going to. It's not cheap. Like it's got to be at least three. Four grand to get there or something. I would say so. And that's if you're flying coach. Mm-hmm. I'm not flying coach. I'm sorry. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't care class? how I don't care how broke I am. I'm. I have to be. I have to have room, or I'm gonna shit my pants while, during takeoff <laughs> and landing. God damn. For real, bro. It's, it's hey. At least you have Sarah right next to you. Well, so what? She can wipe me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't she's, know, bro. She's gonna do that favor, right? Or no? Or you don't think so? Was it for better or worse? Yeah, for better or for worse, dude. Yep. I mean, if she takes it seriously. Yeah, there's the. this is the worst part right here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just shit myself. <laughs> Babe, I shit myself. Just shit myself pretty my bad. <laughs> Can you wipe my hands? <laughs> Throw both the legs up. 
<laughs> you can't even fucking turn nope. around. You mm-hmm. just look at it. Nope. Got to do the and the seat too. Yep. What the fuck? And and I'm not even gonna help her drop my drop my drawers or anything. She got to pull them off <laughs> like on a toddler. God damn. You're, everyone's all looking at you. It's like, don't worry, guys. She's a nurse. She has experience. <laughs> this, is her, this is her husband. He does this kind of shit all the time. He just shits and just, just shits you know. and lets her deal with it. Yeah. Hey, I mean, you'd be surprised. There's some people who do that shit. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a diaper fetish. Yeah. Like grown men, grown women wear diapers pissing shit in there and then they want someone to change them mm-hmm. i remember there's one lady who was like had a weird like fetish to be like a child yeah yeah i was like what the fuck because she like suppressed it at the time when she was a kid i was like still like you're old enough let's no let's get some therapy or something Come for on. real what the fuck? i remember that show uh my weird addiction or my wild addiction or some shit like that where the lady was eating diapers Eating diapers? Pulling diapers. Used diapers? Yeah. Yeah. Like, soaked in pee and full of poop. She would just... I don't know if she would eat. I think she was, like, sucking on them or something. And I was like... Mm, You a nasty hoe. Uh Uh-uh. What made her think it was a good idea? What the fuck? You ever seen that show? No. Bro, there's just, like, crazy people. There's this lady who, uh... You think you would be on there? For what? I don't know. (laughs) I hope not. (laughs) Shit. They, uh... Yeah, they're just... Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Oh, shit. Uh, mm. She would sleep with a hair dryer, like, on her. The only way she could sleep was if she had a hair dryer on her, on her skin. And the doctors were like, yeah, that's going to be bad. That's going to cause, like, issues in the future. She was like, whatever, I don't care. The one lady was, like, huffing uh, the canned, canned air, whatever. She would buy, I think she said she was spending, like, man, it had to be, like, 100 to 200 a day. On this like compressed air, yeah, it was like three. It was like three packs, and she would like buy it, and she was like, "Yeah, it's it's for my business or my office where I work." And they were like, "Okay, but every day you're in here." She was like, "So I had to start breaking it up. I'll go to this Walmart, this Target, this Office Depot, or whatever it may be. Uh, you know what? Kink, Kinkos. She would just have to like go all over the city to get her fix." Damn. Yeah. What the fuck? Because, I mean, they do... You can get addicted to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember somebody telling me that your lungs can get freeze over yeah, from that shit. Yeah, like antifreeze, yeah. What the fuck? Remember that day we were in there fucking with Jamal and I turned the can upside down and sprayed it and it was like ice and shit? Yeah. That's what a lot of people do. They turn it upside down and they're... Damn. Have you tried that shit? I never tried Inhaling it. Inhaling it? Yeah. Hell no. I never tried it. Hell no. But I always heard like people doing it. I'm like, why the fuck? Well, because I mean, shit. I mean, there's a they used to, people used to like huff like paint and paint thinner back in the day too. Oh yeah. Put it in a bottle or a jar and just like, man, that's when you hit a new low. <sighs> you're, worried, you're trying to hit, get high on paint. Nah. I remember when people get high on fucking sharpies. Yeah, yeah. I was like, God damn. There's, there's one kid who used to fucking shake him up like I was gonna do something and then. <laughs> He hit it yeah. real hard. Yeah. And he'd be like, <laughs> you see his eyes get real big. <laughs> he's like, Jesus Christ. Chill out, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> get a line. <laughs> yeah. In school? What the fuck? This shit. I can't say no. He used to get drunk in school, but. For Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've told, yeah, I've told yeah, that story. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, for him, you know, he had the Sharpie and he would like the big chisel, the fat chisel tip. Oh, yeah. He would, Give me the veins. Give me the veins, bitch. God mm. damn. It's like, chill out, dude. I mean, I'll give it to you later if you, you know, <laughs> fuck. I wonder if I wonder if a kid has ever been busted for selling his dad's Viagra at school. Who? I don't know. I'll say oh. I, wonder, I wonder. I mean, why? <laughs> I don't know. Because let me think about it. Like, What kind of teenager needs dick pills? For real. Because, I mean, I, don't, I remember that, that time, like, always damn near rocking one. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? The go down, dog. Like, fuck. I'm, I'm gonna go the kid busted for Viagra selling dad's Viagra. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm literally just typing that I, in and I want to see if I, mean, I bet I you can. So. In 2018, high school coach Coach Sean Grove was selling Viagra Cialis to kids. A coach? This guy. He has balls. Damn near say well, he has I, a wiener. I was gonna say he's got a hard on. <laughs> 
Oh, shit. And then another one in 2018. Viagra popping dad breaks penis after kid jumps on morning on bed for morning hug. Oh. Uh, ooh. Can you imagine just being a, asleep in your kid? With, you just don't hey, even. Dad. Yeah, you don't even know you got a heart on and your fucking toddler just jumps on your shit and snaps it. Ooh. Do you have to go to the hospital for that shit or not? I don't know. I never. Uh. I yeah, I've never broken my dick. I don't yeah. know what that feels like. It's, it's a muscle, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Didn't Knoxville have to wear like a catheter after he broke his dick? Yeah. For a while, like three years or something? Too? Yeah. I can't remember how long it was. but Well, yeah, but he was doing some wild yeah. ass shit, so. He had a fucking, uh, I think a dirt bike land on his dick. Ooh. Yeah, a little different. Yeah, compared to a fucking kid. Well, I don't know. It can't be that much different. It still broke his dick. I mean, but the force. I don't even. I don't know. Does force even really matter? Because it's still broke. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it's got to hurt. It's going to be black and blue. Yeah. There's going to be some bleeding. But imagine him saying, like, hey, at least I have a black dick now. <laughs> black from the waist down. <laughs> I'm black and blue from the waist down. Hell yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, and this is from 2022. Uh,. Viagra will be sold over the counter. Well, I think they're doing that now with Blue Chew, right? I don't know. You want to ask Be Easy? <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the pills he's taking. That's why he's always so tired. Right. I just keep walking wow. around with this fucking heart on. <laughs> I always have to masturbate. Oh, that's gets fucking me tired, beat man. my weenie. <laughs> it's weird, especially whenever your mom knocks on the door every five seconds. All right. Brian, what are you doing in there? You don't want to know. Don't come in. <laughs> Don't come in. <laughs> Turn off the UV light. <laughs> Holy shit. You can see this bitch from space. <laughs> ooh, ooh, god damn. Imagine if that actually happened. Your room is so jizzed up that, like, a UV light fucking brines it up. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's nasty. It's on the walls and shit. How's <laughs> <laughs> your whole wall covered in jizz? Like, what the fuck? You couldn't control this shit? Goddamn. Ugh. You a nasty dude, Nasty bro. ass bitch. Uh-uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's kind of gross. It is. No, not kind of. That is gross. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this. A, uh, speaking of that coach selling kids Viagra, says, this year says, teacher defense or sexual relationship with a student. By arguing his grades improved. But is this like college or high school? No, I think they're like high school. Mm. Oh, no. I mean, I'd have to, if I was a dad, I'd have to see the grades. Yeah, for real. I'd be like, let me see the <laughs> grades. grades. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> if it's going from D to A. Yeah. All right. You're doing a good job. You're doing a You're good doing job. your job and I'm glad I'm paying you whatever I'm paying to you. To fuck my tax. Kid. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> But hey, you're doing something right. But from a D to a C, nah, nah it's not worth it. Your snatch ain't that good. <laughs> yeah, that or my son can't fuck worth a damn. <laughs> so <laughs> I need to know what's going on here. <laughs> For real, D to A in every class. All right. Yeah, exactly. In a every D, class, yeah. yeah. A D to an A in your class, obviously, there's a reason why. Yeah. Do you remember, oh, man? Like one of the big first cases of a student having an affair with a teacher they actually like i think they're still together to this day like i want to say they have multiple kids it was like this mexican dude and this white lady and uh she ended up obviously getting in trouble for it yeah but uh yeah they ended up having like multiple kids and this was like the trial if i'm not mistaken i, I think the trial was like all over like tv so you could watch the trial and they were like, so, you know, you didn't think there was anything wrong with this or blah, blah, blah. And she was like, no, we're in love. And the kid's like, yeah, I'm in love. You're like, dude, you're like 15, 14 or something like that. How old was the lady at the time? Mid to late 20s, maybe, or something like that. Bro. Hold on. Student has. Because I remember watching uh, TikTok and Reddit was talking about something like that. Mm -hmm. Except for it was like, um, so it's like this lady and her husband. Her husband was wanting to throw a birthday party. But he put he put her birth year on there. I forget why he put that, but he put the birth year on it. And somebody, I don't know if it was like a family member or something like that, they saw the birth year and they're like, "Wait, what? How does how does that make sense?" And they they knew them 
through uh, being neighbors, but mm-hmm. they told him a while back they met in school. But knowing that birth year, he put it two two together. He was her teacher, and she didn't want nobody to know about her birth year. Oh and shit! All that shit. So she tried to like make it just disappear. Yeah. Just because she didn't want no one to know, and he was just like, "Not mine, <laughs> not my business." So I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a y'all problem. Yeah. So I was like, "What the fuck?" See, hold on. So she was. So he was 12. 12? Yeah. When she was, she was born in 68. Hold on one second. 12? Yeah. 1996. 19. Was it 68? Yeah. Hold on. What year was she born? 62. Yeah. So she was 34 and he was 12. And they had six children. Mm. So how old is that kid now, dude? God damn. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. I mean, it's not like she was like a dime piece or anything. She was like, all right. Yeah. But I mean, at the time for a 12-year-old? 12-year-old? Because she groomed that fool. I mean, they had oh, kids yeah, and got 100%. married, all kind of shit. Like, yeah. That's some weird shit right there, bro. Mm. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird when they when the well not kind of weird it's it is definitely weird. weird when a teacher finds a student and they groom them yeah and then you know they end up having a thing so wait when they find out they were having a thing was he uh, like already like 18 or something or what oh no no he uh, he had to have been um shit what year was it it was like 90 something uh, should you, should you, hold on, let me find the. Yeah, so she was 34. He was 12. Nice. This is in 1996. 96. Oh. So apparently the, the, their defense was he lied about, and said he was 18. Probably never seen a 12 year old look like they were 18 or Unless, an 18 year old look like they were 12. Hell no. Unless he really did look like he was 18. And then his I picture like, now, fuck? he looks like he's 25. Now? Yeah, he looks super young. What the fuck? So this was in 2015. See, so he still doesn't, he doesn't look that old. Yeah. Because I don't imagine him being in his 40s now, so right? He was born in 83. Either 40s yeah. or 30s. Yeah. yeah. Like late 30s, late 40s? He's 40 now. Okay. Wow. And she's like, what? Oh, she dead. She dead? Then? Yeah, she died. She died in 2020 at 58. That's fucking wild. 58? Damn. And she was 21 years older than that fool. Mm. Man, that's nuts. That's pretty gross. That is. Uh, that's weird. I mean, she was hot. Maybe we let her, we let her off the hook. But <laughs> she, yeah. she wasn't. She wasn't a dime piece. So no, she was, I love how we're just like, if she was a dime piece, hell yeah. yeah if it. she wasn't, nah, nah, that's that's gross. Yeah, that's cr- Ew, Ew. bitch. Nasty. <laughs> you a nasty hoe. You <laughs> desperate hoe. Yeah, because you, you don't even look good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you can't even give a, a a young man some some good ill na na. Well, I don't know. They had kids. Six kids. Must have been thrown. She must have been throwing something good on them. For real. Unless he was just like, fuck it, I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about this shit anymore. You know what we should do, bro? We got, we got to find you a teacher. Well, tell her that you're 15. <laughs> <laughs> just in case she yeah. has that kink? Yeah, just in case she has that kink. And then she's like, oh, shit, this motherfucker's almost 30. By that point, you already got four kids and shit. Shit. Mm, four kids? Goddamn. You hate me that much? That was, that was channeling my inner Navarre. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. It's like, fuck, four kids? Mm. Mm. In this economy? Mm. Got a good question for you. What's up? You're trapped in a room for three days. Mm. All you have is three shows to binge watch. What do you choose? Ooh. It can be any show. I'm going to say Breaking Bad because that'll take me three days to watch anyway. Hell yeah. I'll probably say uh, How I Met Your Mother. That'll probably take you a week to binge Hell watch, yeah. if not longer. I just want, I want to watch something that reminds me of home. Yes. You know, so meth heads and 
<laughs> drugs and, <laughs> and all that undercover shit. cops the and all that. The fucking hood and shit. Yeah, the hood, yeah. I still laugh with uh, the edit of Thanos and uh, fucking, what's his name? Oh, uh, uh, Tuco. Tuco, there yeah. you go. The fucking edit, dude. <laughs> he fucking cursed, he cursed the infinity. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck did this shit, man? What did he say? He crushed it. Thanos was like, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit, uh, man. Did he fuck Thanos up with the... <laughs> <laughs> the fucking god, man. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. You've seen that show, right? Or you've never yeah. seen it? Okay, I've seen it. I, was say, I, think it was, bad, yeah. I think it was Brian who hasn't seen it. Yeah, I'll yeah. probably... I'm trying to think, like... Because I, I like the show. and think it was a good show. But for me, I don't think it would be, like, something that would be my top tier. Like, yeah. I w- would watch it again. Yeah, if you're um, just trapped in a room, you probably want to watch some comedy shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's see, I'm trying to think what other show that I really like, too. I'll probably watch Brotherhood. Brotherhood, what's that? Uh, Full Man Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like an anime. Yeah. I would, I would try. Because you get three shows. Yeah. So I got two down. Yeah. I would... Probably DBZ. Was it Kai? Whatever. Mm-hmm. The one where it's, they cut out all the fat. Yeah. Probably that. What's that? I mean, this kind of sounds like a fucking two-week stay at this point. For real. For If it's three shows. It's show, yeah. Especially the ones that we chose. Like, yeah, they're literally long as shit. Binge. Yeah. It would take forever to watch that shit. Third show? I don't know. I can't I can't think of any... I'll probably watch the stand-up comedy. I can't think of a comedy show. <laughs> the Chappelle show? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, we could probably yeah. watch that yeah. shit. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, how does it you feel... What is it you hate about black folks? How much time you got? <laughs> <laughs> Enough, I guess. He's like, did, did I mention they stank? <laughs> yes, sir. I believe you mentioned that already. <laughs> that fucking showed me. Oh, Jesus shit. Christ. <laughs> God damn it. I love that show. Hell yeah. Yeah, that show was definitely my top three. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Just because of how clever he was with his racism. Yes, especially the first episode with him being the Klansman. I was like, what the fuck? Still the best intro episode I've ever seen to any show. Yeah, because, I mean, you just did not expect that at all. No, not not one bit. It was so fucking great. <laughs> why? Because fuck him. That one, why. too. Yeah. yeah, Pop Copy. That was a great yeah. one. Jesus Christ, I love that show. Clayton Bigsby. I want to get a shirt with his face on it. This is the Clayton Bigsby. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a black man with the clan suit. Yeah. White power. White power. I stink. <laughs> Jeez, homosexuals. <laughs> My favorite is that he divorces his wife because he, she loved him. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, that's actually you, dog. What the fuck? That's the ultimate plot twist. <laughs> I was like, how? How? <laughs> Found out later that Clayton divorced his wife. <laughs> we asked him why. Oh, I thought you going to say it, but yes. If you haven't seen the Chappelle I, show, you're fucking tripping. Go watch it. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, Jesus. I fucking love that show, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> and then the uh, Certain Family. Yep. Yeah. Genius. Yes. <laughs> oh, hi, you must be the wetbacks. <laughs> what was it he say? We're uh, something. And we take offense to the term wetback. <laughs> and he calls him his last name. Yeah. Mm, I love that show. Hell yeah. On your TikTok, have you been just seeing all these fucking live NPC things? What live NPC things? The NPC things where it's literally just, they're like, you know, like NPCs, are. they're like, I'll get you a drink. I'll get you a drink. I'll get you, like shit like that. They just have like, like on Fallout, how the NPCs oh, are. Oh, okay. Or like on Grand Theft Auto. Mm-hmm. So apparently this is it's a thing 
where these girls are like dressing up like mad slutty nice. and doing NPC things, be, be like very robotic. Mm-hmm. And they're making like an ass load of money over like a weekend because the they're fuck? doing it for like a few hours. Yeah. Because I know about like the ladies who like fall asleep. I that one, yeah, we about, talked about that. Yeah, we but, talked about that. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. It's literally just them be like, da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. NPC. See, it's like this. Thank you, Luisi. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Thank you, Luisi. Gang, gang. Gang. Hey! What is wrong with you? So she, she broke character. Okay. But yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's shit like that. Where like they basically just read every single comment and they do that shit. And I guess they get like roses, whatever, however TikTok lives yeah. work, whatever. What the fuck? And then like they get a bunch of gifts and an ass load of money. I don't know. How does that work when you get like roses and shit like that? Is that like kind of like a, you know how like at Grand Station you get like tickets and you can redeem them? Yeah. Is that how it works with TikTok? I don't know. I think know. it just basically makes your live popular so that way people can oh so it, it can shows up on yours yeah got you i think but mm-hmm. that would make sense yeah because if yeah that would make sense because i know i've seen the uh those bullshit ones where they're like playing like an old school retro game and they get to the last level and then they what they'll do is they'll die intentionally that way they, they have to start all over again so that way they can get more views more views and more people in the stream and shit right so it's like intentional they do that shit on purpose they're like oh i'm almost there i'm almost there hold on uh oh, fuck i can't get past the level and then start right from all over again and then more people are coming in they're like oh shit is it gonna be it blah 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 right yeah it's a hmm. nice little nice little scheme they got going on i hate that shit it's like well, finish the god yeah because like, apparently they do that with like twitch too really yeah okay. like uh like with like rpgs or or do, mostly like side scrolling games, or I think yeah, it's one called like Hollow Knight, whatever. And they'll do that. They're like, they'll get all this money, and they're just sitting there shouting people out, and then they'll pretend that they were reading something whenever they die. Like, oh shit, I gotta start all over again. So that way, more people Can keep coming in, come in. in. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. just more money, more money, more money. They play the system, dog. We gotta do. We gotta do something like that. And play a game like that. No, we just gotta find a way to to loop to tow ourselves out. Yeah. <laughs> this shit. What can we do? We, we got because my 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 ultimate goal here is we gotta we gotta save up enough money so we can start a uh, high a uh, high risk low reward. <laughs> oh shit! Start sending people all over the country after we tranquilize them with ketamine and shit. This shit and be like, fuck, where am I? Honestly, we don't know where we are, but uh, <laughs> we don't know either. We kind of just sent you somewhere, bro. Good luck. Yeah, RP dog. And good especially luck. if you don't speak that language, good luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Send a white man to fucking Turkey or something shit. To where? Shit. Turkey? Turkey. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Or Romania? You know, I was about, what do you think, what's like the most least desirable place to travel to? Least desirable? Probably the, one of those islands that are so secluded away. Remember that one yeah. TikTok video? Or yeah, that, that YouTube, YouTube video? thing, yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't remember the name of that place. Something like that, I would imagine. Because, I or, mean, you barely would have internet. Or... Chernobyl, or somewhere where there's like a, like some war torn country. What Ukraine? Yeah, Ukraine. So certain parts of Russia. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to go there. Like, Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Jesus yeah. Christ! Are you trying to kill this guy? What the so, fuck? <laughs> no, I'm saying if you had to, if you're given like ten grand, now twenty grand for a vacation, but they told you you had to go somewhere where nobody goes. Ah oh, shit. Where would, well, what's one of the places you would choose? It could be touristy, but it just can't be like the main, like one. you know, like uh, can't be Paris. like Costa Rica, yeah, fucking, coast Fiji or something yeah. like that. Uh, you get twenty G's. They cover the flight. The twenty G's is for you, right? But you can't just go to like Paris or Germany or something. Yeah, yeah. god damn. Uh, I guess Greece. Nobody wants to go to Greece. I mean. It's a more, it's less popular than you know Europe, or certain parts of Europe, like yeah. you know fucking Germany, Paris. But I'm pretty sure it's still pretty popular. Well, least, if not, if not Greece, and probably go to what, the Middle East. But it's just hot as fuck. Yeah, I'll probably fit in. So the least. 
traveled countries in your at least visited countries in Europe. At least that's from like America. Yeah. Americans. Liechtenstein, Montenegro, Luxembourg, mm. Moldova, Slovenia, Estonia, Macedonia, Monaco, Bosnia, and Belarus. I've never heard of any of these countries. Me neither. Fuck it. Let's choose one. I kind of want to go to Montenegro just because it has the word Negro in it. I want to see. <laughs> I was the- thinking the same thing. I was like, <laughs> let's, go. let's see. Let's see what they got. We're we'll probably the blackest there. It could be, yeah. Yeah. They're probably like disgusted with their name. Ugh, God. Has that word in it. Or they don't know. Yeah, they don't know. Where oh, dude, that's fucking fly. What the fuck? How come no one wants to go? It's a good thing we chose it. Dude, that's actually not bad. Nice little island right there. A little port, too. Yeah. Shit. What the fuck? Why is nobody going here? Look up why. Like, why nobody wants to go to this place. Because, I mean, it looks beautiful as shit. Probably has shitty things. I don't know. Has a lot of hey, it could be extremely racist. I found the majority of people to be... Oh, okay. I found the majority of the people to be more aggressive than what I have previously experienced. So, they're, like, very in your face. Oh, uh, okay. Fuck you, Montenegro. For real. I still want to go though. But. <laughs> I mean, if it ain't as bad as Chicago, I think it would be all right. Or New York, because I mean, I'm pretty sure those two cities are in your face. New York, yeah. you think so? I think that I think people just live at a very fast pace over there. I don't. I don't know if they're in your face kind of thing. Yeah, because I mean, like if you step on something, hey, what the fuck, you know. I don't know. I want to go. I, I still want to go there. I, I still want to check it out. I don't think I've, I know. I've been to Chicago, and that's not somewhere I'd like to go again. What happened there? Because I was in South Side Chicago, and it was like I didn't know. I was a kid. I was like eight. I, you know, I never really traveled. So all the pictures I saw of it, it looked like a shithole. Hmm. Yeah, like it just looked bad. And then, like, apparently, we have a lot of family in South Side Chicago, which is now what they call Chirac. I'm like. Nah, I'm good. Nah. <laughs> I mean, what did you see there? Did you see some gun violence or, or someone getting robbed? Bro, I was like seven. I don't remember. Some juicy smoothie getting like <laughs> tamed. <Juicy smoothie. laughs> no, I can't remember. My grandma said I was just crying the whole time. Damn. I was like, yeah, I didn't like traveling. I remember the. They oh, said yeah, my the ears pressures. popped and shit yeah. like for a long time. You could like hear it. Like, <laughs> yeah. So no. Hell no. It's a place you would go if you got the 20 grand. Ooh, I don't know. Where would you go? Somewhere in Europe. Yeah? Yeah. Again, it'd probably be Spain, just for me. I just want to see what it's like over there, because it's like one of the skateboarding capitals of the world. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, What's Madrid? Or no, Barcelona. Barcelona? Yeah. It's like the whatever's right there by the beach, one of those. Yeah. It's like one of the best places for skateboarding, and I want to see some of the some of the skating over there. I would probably go to Italy. Italy. Italia. Italia. Eat some of the food. Hell yeah. I heard his mom is fuck over there. I hear it. It is too. Especially the made by hand. Yeah, you don't you don't gain a pound from Be- eating pasta. Because well, you're mostly just like walking around. Oh yeah. So they have like hills like hills. That. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it too. Hell yeah. I would love to go there. Get es- some of that wine. España. España. Some parts Espanol. of South America. South America? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Because I heard, like, there's a lot of bad places in Brazil. Hell yeah. Like, a lot of shady fucking places where I... A lot of AIDS, too. Really? That's the thing down there? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, and there's a lot of AIDS. You know, and they spread it around, dog. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was, <laughs> my intention wouldn't be to smash down there. But still, that'd be crazy. Fuck around, catch AIDS, eating a tortilla. <laughs> it's just shit. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Was it, uh... What what other place? Uh, I don't mind going somewhere in Africa. I heard South Africa is pretty cool, but that, that's really like nice the more that. touristy yeah. area. It's basically like a giant city. Yeah, probably like Egypt or some shit. I definitely want to check out Egypt. Yeah, I want to see the pyramids. Ever since we heard that one podcast, yeah, it just blows my mind. Like how? 
Yeah. Just that question of how. Because everybody's like always put out their like things of like, oh, this is how they built it. No, no, no. This is how they built it. No one's like for sure of no. like, this is the way how they built it. And then like all the uh, the theories, like how they think it was like basically a source of electricity and you know some people think it was a tomb but there was no fucking tombs right in there like i don't know man there's just too much to unpack with those things and it's the way like even just thinking about how them putting the stones together it's just fucking mind-blowing yeah and then like those aren't even some of the biggest pyramids in africa yes but there's those giant ones over there in mexico Mm -hmm. i want to go see those the ones where like was it the, how like they had like the acoustic people like whenever you clap it sounds like birds in there and yeah. they just can't figure out how how they like, did that how how <laughs> this is without the, without the technology we have how you facts because I mean like they just did it knowing what they know allegedly yeah you know but man that's ancient fucking history just blows my mind you're just like what the fuck did they eat god damn. But they did have a lot of time to, like, figure it out, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, lots of people died. <laughs> yeah. For us to be where we are. Because, I mean, like, for us, we think, like, we have to get to know what we need to do already within, like, a certain, like, two-year span. Mm-hmm. Maybe five years. For them, it was, like, years. And they, like, kept on, like, passing it down to certain people so they can work on it, work on it, work on it, work on it. So. It's the most interesting thing you've learned about Mexico. Mexico? Or just the native culture in general? Hmm. I don't know. I really like the origin story. It's kind of like how uh, it it's they have some similarities to the Israelites, how they had to go through the, you know, find their promised land and shit. Mm-hmm. Except for in Mexico, that's why they had the flag with the eagle and the, and the um, snake. snake and the cactus. Mm-hmm. That was the representation of, like, that's your promise land. And that Mexico City used to be a big-ass lake. So you're they're basically on top of a city. You know, so it's a city on top of a city. I didn't on know On top that. of a lake. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. Because back in the day, it was, like, basically, like, big old lake. They fucking... Like, the way they built it, it's interesting. Because they made, like, certain things to where... They can, like, do river roads, mm-hmm. like, in Italy and all that shit to go, like, certain places like that. And then from there, you know, as conquistadors came, they built another city on top of it. That's wild. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I like, this is so interesting. Because, hmm. obviously, no one's going to see the rivers anymore. Because yeah. it's all gone. Yeah, and it's all dried up and shit. Yeah. yeah. I know the uh, one of the things that interested me, or that caught my interest, was... How uh, whenever Mexico owned Texas, they were like, hey, uh, any uh, runaway slaves who come here, the moment you cross over into this land, land, you're a free man. Mm-hmm. And you're eligible to be like a leader in the Mexican army. Mm-hmm. That shit is dope to me. Learn stuff like that. I thought that was cool. You know why uh, the people in Texas fought Mexico? Because hmm. they wanted slaves. Mm. That's why they're like we want. There's a another kind of civil war. Yeah. Hmm. Because they're all like, "Yeah, we want our slaves," and they're like, "No, we, you are under Mexico. Slaves are free under us." And they're like, "No, we still want our slaves because this crop shit is hard. So we <laughs> we need we need them to break their backs." Another thing, learn something new every day. I didn't know that shit mm-hmm. at all. Yeah, there's a there's a lady on TikTok. They're like, you know what? I learned that you know a lot of people tell us to remember the Alamo, but don't forget the Alamo. You know why? You know why? They fought for slavery. I gotta look. In, I got man. I phased out so much shit shit when I was yeah. a kid. Well, I, you know, that I just didn't listen well, at all. They didn't. They didn't tell us this when we were kids. They were just kind of like, remember the Alamo? Because, you know, like, Mexico was, you know, bad. And, they, you know, they didn't, they had the rules and we didn't want to pay attention to the rules. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. Never found out what those rules were, huh? Hmm. Until Makes sense, did, yeah. Yeah, until you did, you're like, oh, shit. 
According to my dad, we have some type of relation to uh, Santa Ana Lopez. Really? According to him. I've never looked into it, so I don't know. But. Oh, shit. So I don't, I, again, I don't know how much truth there is behind it. Right. Every time he said that shit, he was like a good Drunk. T- 20 beers in. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like any type of story, you know? Like fucking Noir. Like, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm black somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all are. <laughs> but what does yeah. that mean? <laughs> yeah, right? We don't look like it. Fucking Navar. Miss his bitch ass. Me too. When are we going to have him back? It's been like, what, a couple months already? Four months, I think. Yeah. How how long ago was the baby born? Three and some change months. So that's how long? Yeah. Okay. Because that, that week after is whenever he had the baby. Okay. And then we were here. Hmm. So, you know. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. Yes. Nave up. Mm. Nave up. Yeah. Stop having kids. Get your dick chopped off. For real. Gun down. When are you going to do that shit? For real. You're letting us all down. For real. Thought we were doing it together. If you could, would you? If I could? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I do want kids, but not like right now. But there's some days where I'm just like, mm, you know, like, fuck it. <laughs> my, my model will forever be. Kids ruin everything, so. I mean, I get the point of, like, you know, kids are, you know, kids are kids, and you, you see them grow and all that shit. I like seeing that, and I like that, you know, they see you and seek you to, you know, to make them better and all that, but still, there there are certain points where it's, like, they, they're annoying, they're very needy, and they're very, like, this and I don't that. have time for that shit. And it's, like... You gotta have patience. So I was like, do I want to have patience or do I just want to live my life? You got, you got my vote. Yeah, I say, right. I say uh, get your <laughs> dick chopped off, bro. <laughs> then get him, get him cut. Yeah, get him cut. Because fuck them kids. Exactly. I don't I mean, I don't know, man. It's just a thing for me. Like, I feel like uh, they, uh, I understand the process of having to teach them things that they learn to become an adult. Yeah. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm like, I'm already tired of this. Yeah. I don't, yeah, like, yeah. I don't, like, I don't want to have the patience. I don't want to have to have the, not that I'm not a patient person nowadays. I just don't. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I understand. Like, dude, you know how long it took me to learn how to live life? <laughs> Me too. I gotta teach this little fucker how to do it for real, and you got him for life. Yeah, to do it. Oh. Ain't no thirty day trial run or anything like that. I gotta. They're like yours, yours. <laughs> like you know how, ta- how many times you bother Jamar? No, yeah. this is like every hour <laughs> yeah. of every hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the doctor comes out like, so you mean it's mine, mine? <laughs> like, You're right. So like, I gotta you sure, take. Doctor? I gotta take it with me. <laughs> wow. Just run out that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I could just abandon it, right? No, yeah. Kidding. And some I get tired of it is I can just I can just head out. I can go get a pack of smokes, right? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> get a that's pack what of, brings you back yeah, to fucking smoke. Go get a pack of smokes or some milk for a few months. Jesus Christ. Come on, bro. I'm not down with that shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. this shit. Oh, here's some nerdy shit. So Keanu Reeves wants to play Ghost Rider. Oh, no way. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh shit, dude! But for how long? That's a that's a it's gonna be a long character, in the in the new upcoming phases. Yes, like how old is he now? Fifty something. Okay, he has a wall, and it, for the most part, he can just do. The yeah. Fucking well, most of it's gonna be CGI. Yeah. Trying yeah. to reuse age. Oh, he's fifty eight. Fifty eight. Mm. He's almost 60? Damn. Damn. (laughs) (laughs) You would fucking... (laughs) Kevin. Goddamn. Damn. Damn, damn, bro. You can do Kevin like that? Shit. Damn, I didn't know he was 58, bro. Me me neither. Because, I mean, like, what? Those movies take, like, what, four and even longer? So the first movie will be in a while, and then after that, that second movie won't be until, like, another four years. 
three to five, let's just say. Yeah. Damn. I mean, again, most of it will be CGI, but still. I would want him to be Ghost Rider if he was younger. And now that knowing he's like 68. 58. 58. It's like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. He's still playing John Wick. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know how much of that is like a body double, but. Right. Or like a stun double, whatever, but still. But as a character with a face like that in the Marvel Universe, who I really love, it's like, you know, like I want them to be around for a while to like do crazy shit. Or they can get a voice actor just to play. Yeah, they can just get him to do the voice or something. Yeah. And, you know, just have his face on there like he's on the, motor- on the motorcycle. And then, like, whenever he takes off, it'll be a body double. Right. You know? Because, I mean, something Again, about, oh, yeah, it'll be yeah. CGI. So who the fuck's going to know? Yeah. They just use okay. his voice for, like, ADR or something. Mm. All right. We'll see. Because we'll I, I doubt he's going to be fucking. Hell no, doing all the fucking doing crazy shit. Yeah. yeah. Especially if- now. Nah, bro. Not at fifty-eight. Who else would you think? Who would you want be a, a ghost, ghost writer? <sighs> Man, I could kind of see, kinda, if he act better. The guy from uh, Daryl from um, The Walking Dead. Is that his name, Daryl? Uh, Norman Reedus. Yeah. Yeah. From. Uh, yeah, Walking Dead. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you kind of have to be able to act. Yeah, if he if he can act and have a better, I guess, accent than he, he always plays. I don't know, Nicholas Cage. No, <laughs> hey, I, I like Nicholas Cage. I didn't. I couldn't. I, uh, I like the first one. The second one, I know a lot of people like the second one that were comic book fans, but for me, I don't know. I just visually, it did nothing for me. Yeah, like I couldn't. I didn't really like the first one that much, so whenever I did see the second one, I was like, kind of went in with that, like, here we go, type mm. of, you know, mentality, like, I don't know, and I didn't like it. I kind of went into that, like that too, just because at the time, he was playing a shit ton of movies, Yeah, and I watched damn near every movie that he was in, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm tired of this dude. Was man. your was your, uh, was your dad a big fan? That, and we had cable, so damn near every cable, uh, like, yeah thing was all the reruns and yeah yeah. god damn tbs like a motherfucker yeah yeah it was fucking uh the the wicker man the fucking uh treasure national treasure treasures fucking part one to part fucking whatever probably uh gone in 60 seconds all those movies he did yeah the the end one and all that shit you know then uh but yeah and i was like man i'm tired of this guy like let's just just stop can can he just die? He did have he did have a run though. I can't remember which. I think it was called like Next or something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that one, but it's like he could like kind of see into the future for like brief. It was like very brief moments. So like when like someone was about to shoot, he knew to duck or something like that. It was just very. It was a, supposed to be a sci-fi movie, but to me, it kind of it's like an action movie. Yeah, it was kind of it was kind of it's kind of dumb. Hmm. It's kind of sucked ass. Hmm. I think it had like Jessica Since Beal. Oh, okay. The one from uh, now pronounce you checking later. Yeah, yeah, her had her in there. Mm. It was alright. I mean, it was just it's that, it was it was one of the, it was like it's like you said it was that that was the, the time where like every movie had him in it. Right. And you're like, all right, I'm like you need fuck? to stop. Yeah, chill out, my guy. What really brought me back to him is when he came back for uh, Kick Ass. Yeah, I was like, "Oh shit!" Because he did. He took a he took a a long hiatus mm-hmm. and randomly came back as right. a fucking superhero. Yeah, what I really want to watch is that Nick Cage movie that he's. It's all yeah. about him. Unbearable waste of or something talent or something like yeah. that. Yeah, with uh, what was it homeboy who plays uh, Pedro Pascal? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people said that it, this is the most. It's dope how he just embraced the meme of him now. Yeah, that film so, just. And yeah. doing that. So, yeah. So, you know, with him embracing it, everyone's like, okay, cool. Now we can at least respect you knowing that you've dropped some fucking duds over yeah. the years, you know, like, in which he did. Yeah. I can't, dude, that dude has more straight to DVD movies than he does actual movies, movies in the box, in the box office. office. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, some of them, again, some of them were good. And then other ones were just like, bro, 
Just let it go, dog. I know that I heard that movie Pig. Pig. It was like someone stole his pig and he's like basically like John Wick. Like kicking mm-hmm. people's asses to get his pig back. <laughs> yeah. It's like a truffle pig or something. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah, that was the whole thing. And people were like, oh, this movie, I think it was an A24 movie. I think that's one of the reasons that people were like, oh, God, this movie's going to be epic. And then it was kind of like 50-50. Like some people loved it. And then others were like, what the fuck is this? What is this bullshit? Yeah. Like, I didn't want to see a dirty John Wick fighting right. over a pig. And it came out like 2020, I think. Oh, yeah? 2019. Okay. That's when, 2021. Yeah. What the hell? Hold on one second. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't like the 21. Greatest. Can you do something for me? Yeah, 2021. But yeah, this was apparently, it was like, there it is. Pig. Pig. <laughs> yeah, that's all it's about. It's about a dude. Wanting his pig back. Truffle forager living in a cabin in the Oregon forest. He hunts for truffles with the help of his prized foraging pig. He sells the truffles. Uh, Rob is attacked by unidentified pig assailants. The fuck? I'm good. Come on, Nick. What are you doing? You, you do have some bangers, but bro, like, nah. Take it back, bro. You know, you know the one thing that kind of drives me crazy? What's up? Is when someone has just had a long career in acting, that people will automatically call them legends. Or they're like, I'm trying to think, like, someone like a Paul Walker. Dude. Word? Yeah, they're like, he was a, he was a great actor. I'm like. No, he wasn't. Good looking cat. Oh yeah, for sure. Not a great actor. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> like home, yeah. home, home voice said. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like right when he said Paul Walker. Paul like, Walker. God, God rest his soul. Yeah. R.I.P. Terrible actor. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious when he first said it. Every like, now and then I'll just randomly watch that clip. Hell yeah, because that was funny as shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Brendan said, you ain't going to hell, man. <laughs> God rest his soul. God rest Terrible his soul. Actor. <laughs> R.I.P. Terrible actor. But he ain't lying. But, but yeah, but so back to the point, they'll, they'll, they'll take someone like that and be like, oh, this guy was an amazing actor. And then you go back and look at his like filmography and you're like, no, he, nah, wasn't. he wasn't. Not at all. I liked, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Joyride. Joyride. I liked that one. It's got him, Steve Zahn. I don't think so. It's a, it's from like I think two thousand. Lily Lily Sobieski. Yeah. Uh. And actually, the guy who does the voice, uh, he's one of the one of his bosses. One of what's his name? Uh, Paul Walker. Is it Ryan? Ryan. Yeah. In Fast and Furious. Oh, uh, I forget his name. God damn it. Um. Brian. 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 He's one of his uh, like lieutenants or something like that. So they all everybody in the in the Fast and Furious movie were basically all in that one. Joy Ryan, Ryan. yeah. Okay. Brian O'Connor. Yeah, okay. there it is, Brian O'Connor. Yeah, uh, that I like that one. Was it um one actor that I feel like is a legend but didn't have a big filmography is Heath Ledger. If you look oh, at yeah. film, filmography, it's like not that big. Yeah, no, he was a really good actor. He took acting very serious. Mm-hmm. Very serious. <laughs> and then obviously Dark Knight. I mean. Oh, yeah. But was it was it Handmaid's Tale? No, not Handmaid's Tale. Uh, was Brothers that? Grimm. Brothers Grimm. Yeah. yeah. That one was really good. That one good. was dope, I yeah. It. it was funny. Brothers Grimm. I really liked that one. But yeah, I just, I don't like whenever they're like, oh, this person was amazing. They had dropped nothing but hits. And then you watch a movie, you're like, no, nah, I'm sorry, bro. And this is the one that you want to, like, you know, make me like, oh, wow, you're so right. No. no. Like, yeah, there's, other, there's other hills to die on. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> other than this one. Yeah, sorry. Like, Paul Walker? Yeah, really? Paul Walker. This is nah, the bro. one? No. Nah. God rest his soul, but still. <laughs> Terrible actor. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I remember when I said that to the girls in uh, Courtney Ebb, man. She was like, no, he won an award for this, 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 or some shit. Well, yeah, because he died. 
Yeah, no, who did I say also won an award, like a terrible actress? I can't remember. I was like, yeah, but this bitch won an actress for, won an award for such and such. I'm like, she's still a fucking terrible actress. Like, it doesn't, it happens sometimes. Yeah. You know, he died. That's why they gave it to him. Yeah, that's why they gave it to him. I mean, look, (laughs) R.I.P. God rest his soul. (laughs) Terrible actor. Terrible actor. I need to insert that clip in here. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, That's funny. <laughs> I'm tired for you. Ready to wrap this up? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I've been so tired the last couple of days. Maybe it's the AIDS. The AIDS? What the fuck? What have you been fucking, dog? Good question. No, I don't know. I just... Last night, I, would, I was alright until... The whole SD card thing. Oh, yeah. And when I got back, I was like, fucking tired. I don't want to do this shit. <laughs> See, in line. When we got back, I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was feeling it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, nobody wants to do this shit. Yeah, no one like, was feeling it. It was so quiet. <laughs> yeah. And after a couple of parts, I was, I was like, like, fuck this. Let's, let's yeah. call it quits, dog. <laughs> yeah. There's no need to keep moving forward. Mm-hmm. Or just being a dead horse by, by then. Fuck. Well, we went through like 90% of the list when we were 12 minutes in. It was 12 minutes in? Yeah. It was 12 or 13 minutes, and I looked over. I was like, y'all want to do this tomorrow? <laughs> I did not notice. Yeah, I like, thought we were, like, at least 30 minutes in. I was mm-hmm. like, okay. It was 12 or 13 minutes in, bro, and we had, like, all the all these bubbles were checked. I would, I would throw out a topic, and y'all were like, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I did shit tomorrow, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. Nobody's feeling this shit. Mm-hmm. But all right, was, was it episode 292? Yes. I don't know why I always say that. It's always right there. (laughs) Episode 292. Catch you bitches next week. Yeah. Peace. Peace.